Hi everyone, this is Audrey from TechWritingMatters.com. This is part two of a four-part tutorial on how to document your project using Sphinx. So in the last video, part one, we installed the virtual environment and Sphinx. And in this video, we're going to get straight into working on our home page and changing themes. So in the last video, we installed Sphinx and that which generated all these files for us. So in this video, we're going to start working on the index file. Now you can use any text editor of your choice to open up this file. I'm going to show you how to do it in the command line. You want to make sure your virtual environment is active. Always a good idea when you're working on your project and make sure you're in your repository folder here. So as you can see, the index file is in the source folder. So I'm going to move there. Uh, that didn't work. Oh yeah, docs. Great. And now I'm ready to open up the index file using Vim. And this opens it up in the command line. So to begin editing from here, you have to press I. And that changes it to editing mode. And from here, you can make any changes you want. So, so you can make any changes you want from here. I actually prefer using another text editor. So I'm going to switch to that in a moment. But to get out of this mode, you have to press escape first to get out of editing mode. And then colon, W, Q, and enter. And this brings you back to the command line. So escape, colon, WQ, enter. WQ is to save and quit. Uh, Q is just to quit without saving. So I'm going to open my file from here because I prefer using Sublime Text. And you can see the changes we made are reflected here. So from here, you can edit the file however you want. This is your home page of your documentation. Uh, the only requirement is you have to leave the talk tree in here. And this is the table of contents. This is what will tell Sphinx the hierarchy between the files in your document or the connection between them. So you, you will get an error if you try deleting this. This has to be here. You can hide this if you want. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Uh, so it's, it's your choice. You can either leave it at the bottom of the, of the document or at the very top. Um, and continue editing your document from there. So I'm going to go ahead and make changes to this file and I'll come back when done. I've made my changes and now I'd like to see how this looks in the browser. As you can see, I've pushed the talk tree to the bottom of the page. I could have left it on top. So let's save this work. I'm going to save this and now run a build to see how it looks in the browser. So HTML is what will be used to build this. So I'm going to go back into the command line and I'm going to move to the docs folder. Here, so I'll just back out. There we go. And the command to run a build is make HTML. Great. So if there were any errors, you'd be able to see that here, and it would usually show up in red. Uh, but that looks like it completed successfully. Now to see the work, uh, to see the HTML page, you have to actually go into the build folder, into HTML, and you can see the index.html page here. So you can open it up from here or from the command line. And then I believe it's, I'm using Google Chrome. So that's run a build of our index page. As you can see, it's pretty basic. I haven't done any formatting to it yet. And you don't actually see the talk tree here because we haven't added anything to the talk tree. We haven't added any files to it, which is why there's, you don't see a table of contents here as yet. So the theme that's being used right now is called Alabaster, and that's the default theme that's used when Sphinx is initially installed. But you can definitely change this. So Sphinx has several inbuilt themes that you can find out by going to, I believe if you search Sphinx HTML themes and click on the first result. Oh, it's not here. Yeah, it's over here. So I'll provide the link in the description box. So this was the alabaster theme that we can see over here. Uh, let's change it to something else. Um, okay, let's say pyramid, for example, just, just to take an example. So what you have to do is go into this conf.py file, and this is where you can change the theme. So if we were to do it in the command line, actually, let me just clear this. And I'm going to use Vim to open it up. Great. I to edit. 
And I'm going to scroll down until I see a line that says HTML themes. There we go. And you can see here it says Alabaster. So let's change it to Pyramid. It was Pyramid, right? Yeah. And now get out of here. So we'll have to do an escape colon WQ enter. Now let's run another build. So we're going to go have to back out again, make HTML. Okay. And I can just refresh the page since I have it open here. And there you go. It's changed the theme to pyramid. So if you want to use any of these built-in themes that Sphinx provides, you'll make the change at the conf.py file. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the read the docs theme, which is not a built-in theme. It's actually a third party theme, as you can see over here. So this involves a couple of extra steps. You actually have to install it first and you'll find the instructions to do so on the same page. There you go. You have the instructions on how to install here. So let's do that. Okay. So to install the read the docs theme, it's pip install. And it says it's successfully installed. And now we are going to have to change the theme in the conf.py file. So this time I'll open it with my preferred text editor. And you'll have to type this in. So we're going to import. And over here, I'm going to change the theme. And that should do it. I'm going to save the file and let's see if that worked. So back in terminal, make HTML. Let's refresh this. And that looks like it worked. So this is the read the docs theme that this tutorial will use. You can, of course, use any theme you want. We are going to continue on with this tutorial in this theme. So in this video, we worked on our home page, ran an initial build in HTML, and played around with several themes. In the next video, we're going to get right into the markup language that is restructured text. So we, I'll show you some basic formatting that you can do with restructured text and how to build up uh, your documentation by adding new files. See you there.